Time to update you on a story we brought you earlier this month about a group of women trying to survive on a limited food plan. They call it the working poor diet. Now the challenge is taking both an emotional and a mental toll on the ladies, but they are committed to getting their message out. Desmalenka has our update. Today's a special day. I'm having some yogurt too. Meals have changed for Jennifer Windsor over the last month. She's part of a group on the working poor diet. For the month of February, they're spending only $80 on food. No matter how tough the slogging is, I can say, okay, I'm at the two-week mark. I only have, I'm half done. Like, I only have two weeks left, and then I can go back to, um, you know, eating the way I want to eat. Here's my one beautiful egg. Still, going into week three, Windsor says it's a daily challenge. And the first week, we were still kind of high on the whole idea of it, and we had a ton of groceries, relatively speaking, but now it's kind of starting to be a little bit of tough slogging. This is all my food in my fridge from uh, my diet. Tracy Hyatt is learning to throw away nothing, saving even kidney bean juice, just in case. You just leave the skins on more, buddy. Yeah. Getting enough fruits and vegetables is impossible. Under the Canada Food Guide, I'm supposed to have six to seven. I'm lucky if I get, well, on average, I'm getting about three or four. Throughout their challenge, the group has blogged about their experience. The online site also gives people other options on how to save. In Edmonton, there are a number of programs to help, but one the dieters have learned about is called We Can. It's open to anybody who wants to join. All you gotta do is pay the $5 a year annual charge and place your order per month. The Weekend Food Basket Society offers a bag full of food for about 50% less than big box grocery stores. Its goal is to provide fresh food, like food security for people, so fresh meat and vegetables and uh, fruits every month towards the end of the month to kind of help make sure you're getting the right foods throughout the entire month. But Wayne Corsine warns Weekend needs more people to sign up or some depots will close. We'd like to get them up back over, over the 600 mark just to kind of keep every depot going. You can't do this alone. You really have to do it as a community. We're a small community, but the message is I want the larger community, the city of Edmonton, everyone together to, to work as a community to help solve poverty. On special assignment, Desmalenka, CTV News.